everyone. Welcome to Technology and Livelihood Education video lesson. My name is Hafi Sigaspon of Baybayog National High School and I will be your teacher for today. For today's video lesson, we are going to discuss lesson 1, prepare salad and dressing, particularly learning outcome 1, perform mise en place. After going through this video lesson, you are expected to number 1, identify tools, equipment, and utensils needed in preparing salad and dressing. Number 2, identify ingredients according to the given recipe and number three prepare ingredients based on the required form and time frame are you ready now class so let's get started mise en place is a french term which means setting everything in place and organizing all the materials and ingredients before preparing foods Salad is a combination of vegetables, fruits, and other ingredients served with dressing. Preparing salad may be simple, mix, or combination served with complementary dressing. This time, we will proceed to study tools, equipment, and utensils needed in preparing salads. Knives Good quality knives with sharp, sturdy stainless steel blades and with handles that are securely attached and that feel perfectly comfortable in your hand. Cutting boards. Choices of cutting boards are the wooden or blocks and acrylic cutting boards. Peelers is a kitchen tool consisting of a slotted metal blade attached to a handle that is used to remove the outer skin or peel of certain vegetables, frequently potatoes and carrots, and fruits such as apples and pears. Citrus zesters is approximately 4 inches long with a handle and a curved metal end, the top of which is perforated with a row of round holes with sharpened rims. Grater or shredder. A grater is also known as shredder. Is a kitchen utensil used to grate foods into fine pieces. It was invented by Francois Bollier in 1540s. Grill pan. Used for salad toppings to be broiled or grilled. Salad spinners hold just washed salad leaf in a slotted basket that is made to spin by hand and thus fling all the water off the leaves into the outer container. Mixing balls used to mix dressings, marinate ingredients, hold separate elements if a salad before assembling and used to toss and mix all the ingredients together. Salad servers. Salad sets with big salad bowls, serving bowls, and servers. Select materials having enough surfaces to really grasp the ingredients of salad, no matter how slippery, and thus making tossing easier. We also have the classification of salads according to the ingredients used. Salad greens must be fresh, clean, crisp, and cold and well-drained. Moisture and air are necessary to keep greens crisp. Leaves wilt because they lose moisture. Crispness can be restored by washing and refrigerating. The moisture that clings to the leaves after thorough draining is usually enough. Air circulation is essential so do not wash greens too tightly or pack too firmly. Vegetable, green legumes, and pasta salads. Vegetable salads are salads whose main ingredients are vegetables other than lettuce or other leafy greens. Starchy items such as greens, 
pastas, and dried legumes can also form the body of a salad. Raw or cooked vegetables are usually added to the starch items to enhance the color, flavor, and nutritional balance of the salad. Protein items such as poultry, meat, seafood, and cheese may be added to vegetables and starch salads. Bound salads are a mixture of foods that are held together or bound with a dressing, usually a thick dressing like mayonnaise. The term bound is most often used for traditional mixtures of cooked protein, starch, and vegetables items with mayonnaise like chicken salad, tuna salad, egg salad, and potato salad. Fruit salad contains fruits as their main ingredients like appetizer salads or dessert salads. Composed salads made by arranging two or more elements attractively on a plate. They are called composed because the components are arranged on the plate rather than being mixed together. They are elaborate and can be substantial in size, usually serve as main courses or fruit courses rather than accompaniments or side dishes. Gelatin salads. Most gelatin products are made with sweetened prepared mixes with artificial color and flavor, but some professional cook used to prepare salads using unflavored gelatin, relying on fruit juices and other ingredients for flavor. Now let's proceed to the classification of salads according to their functions in the meal. Appetizer salad. It stimulates appetite which has fresh, crease ingredients, tangy, flavorful dressing, and attractive, appetizing appearance. It looks appealing because of flavorful foods like cheese, ham, salami shrimp, and crab meat. Creased, raw, or lightly cooked vegetables can also be added. Accompaniment salads must balance and harmonize with the rest of the meal like any other side dish. Don't serve potato salad at the same meal at which you are serving french fries or another starch. Sweet fruit salads are rarely appropriate as accompaniment except with such items as ham or pork. Side dish salads should be light and flavorful. Not too much vegetable salads are often good choices. Heavier salads such as macaroni or high-protein salads containing seafood, cheese are less appropriate unless the main course is light. Main course salads should be large enough to serve as a full meal and should contain a substantial portion of protein. Meat, poultry, and seafood salads as well as egg salad and cheese are popular choices. Main course salads should offer enough variety of flavors and textures in addition to the protein and salad platter or fruits. Separate core salads. These salads must be very light without filling. Rich, heavy dressings such as sour cream and mayonnaise should be avoided. Light salads are served after the main course to cleanse the palate, refresh the appetite, and provide a break before dessert. Dessert salads. Dessert salads are usually sweet and may contain items such as fruits, sweetened gelatin, nuts, and cream. In summary, we discussed the following. First, the tools, equipment, and utensils needed in preparing salads. And the following are the knives, the cutting board, the peelers, citrus zesters, graters and shredders, grill pan, salad spinner, salad balls, and salad servers. We 
also discuss the classification of salads according to their functions in the meal. The appetizer salads, accompaniment salads, side dish salad, main course salads, separate course salads, and dessert salads. Lastly, we discuss the classification of salads according to ingredients used. Number one, green salads followed by vegetables, green legumes, and pasta salads, bound salads, fruit salad, composed salad, and gelatin salads. This time, let us practice what we have learned. I am going to show you five pictures of different kitchen utensils and equipment. I will give you five seconds to identify the name of that kitchen utensils and equipment. So are you ready? All right, let's begin. Number one. Time is up. The correct answer is cutting board. Number two. Time is up. The correct answer is grill pan. Number three. Time is up. The correct answer is peeler. Number four. The correct answer is Mixing balls. Number five. Time is up. The correct answer is salad spinner. So that ends our lesson for today and I hope you have learned a lot. Once again, this is your teacher Humphrey Gascon of Bayog National High School. Stay safe and healthy. See you in our next lesson. Goodbye, everyone.